everybody this is how we're starting our day today <laughs> I look ridiculous but trust me all of this whew, was worth it last night was trash night today is Friday they picked it up the, early this morning and it is five degrees outside and so therefore we have wind gust outside it's blowing like crazy and like, even though I was severely warm, my face feels frozen. And I was probably out there a total of three minutes. So not much snow on the ground. However, you can see my footprints. The wind gusts are so hard that I had that piece of furniture out there and it blew it over in the night. And that is a heavy piece of furniture and it looks like it may have possibly split down the middle. So that'll be thrown away. It was supposed to be donated to somebody, but you can't donate something that's broken. But everything else seems to be in one piece. But yes, lots of ice, very icy, rained a good bit first and then got really cold, then turned into snow. So yes, I'm very, bad icy areas um, this morning so hopefully you guys are keeping warm hello everybody and welcome to Antarctica <laughs> um, <laughs> this is the frozen tundra coming live to you we Very are cold. still <laughs> we are still frozen um, it is a little afternoon and we've been up for a little while we've had our coffee and I'm borrowing Ron's toboggan because I had to brave the elements, as you've seen earlier, and go out and get my trash can because the wind is blowing so hard that people's trash cans are blowing down the road. And I did not want somebody to steal my trash cans. Yes, do we live in a neighborhood where somebody would steal our trash can? Yes, we do. Sure we do. <laughs> Um, unfortunately we do. It's, it's, it's terrible when somebody will steal a trash can. Um, so I went out and I got the trash can and brought it back in and I don't want to go back out. So I don't know when the mail's supposed to run. I've already been out there once and it being the day before Christmas Eve, I figured that the mail will be a little late. So I'm going to wait a while before I brave those elements again. Now we are going to make some cabbage today and some, uh, hot smoked sausage and potatoes today. That sounds so good and so warm. And my father-in-law gave me an extra cabbage and I know it's not gonna fit in the Dutch oven with the cabbage and the potatoes and the sausage in, you know, two cabbages is not gonna fit in there. So I'm gonna put one cabbage on the stove to cook down and then I'll put uh, the other cabbage in my Dutch oven and let that cook in the the oven today. I've already got the Christmas lights on and today's video you guys have seen are the Ashland Christmas lights. It was very nice. It was a lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I don't, if you guys are connected to me on my regular uh, Facebook page, then you guys know that um, I took a couple days off from filming because I got so um, bogged down with some housework and it was like down here is okay, but upstairs was being neglected. And I told Ronnie, I said, I want to take these next couple of days and I want to um, regroup my house and my house cleaning and get everything all clean. I also helped my father-in-law reactivate his magic jack telephone helped him paid for his internet and got him back going. And um, so if you guys know, if you, you know, call these automated services and basically if you have a Magic Jack phone, you have to pretty much have all the information, including your blood type to even make another year's payment on that. So yeah, it was a bit of a struggle, but we got it done, we got it done. And so now that I'm all caught up, I'm ready to start filming again. So this is actually Friday. This will come out on Christmas Eve. So if you're watching this, 
Happy Christmas Eve to all of you. Um, it's a beautiful time of year. We got a blanket of snow outside. Um, I feel bad for people's travels being hindered and all of that. I really do. Um, but I am so thankful that I don't have to go anywhere and that I have a nice warm house and we're going to get some good comfort food in us. I'm also going to wrap a few gifts today and we're going to turn on some TV. I don't know what we're going to watch. But um, I've got a Christmas village to build that my mom left here. And I'm going to do that today. And then um, we're probably going to call it a day because I've got some clothes already washing this morning. I braved the elements for the trash. I've had my coffee. And now it's time to go chop up some vegetables and get it all in the Dutch oven so that we don't starve on this enormously frigid frozen tundra of a day. I think we're going to have to add a lot of, a little bit more hot sausage because it's so cold outside. <laughs> I think you're going to have enough sausage. <laughs> so we are going to start our day and come along with us on this Friday, this holiday Friday, and um, stay warm with us. Hey, I just uh, folded a load of laundry. I've got one in the dryer. So we got things going. Dishes done, few in a sink. And over here we have cabbage cooking down. There are a few potatoes in this pot as well as um, some Italian style green beans that my father-in-law gave me. I just went ahead and dumped them in there. I'm gonna turn this down. Um, and then in the oven, in the Dutch oven, I have the cabbage sausage and potatoes they're all layered in that and they've been cooking i would say about 30 minutes in the oven so usually do about an hour take it out check it this here i'll probably dump the broth off add a little butter some garlic you know season it up real good we'll have enough cabbage um <laughs> for everybody and it'll be delicious and warm and comforting and let me tell you guys I'm inside and my feet are frozen. My Christmas village all lit up here when you come in the door. And above, I just have all of my Christmas cards displayed. I didn't really expect any, and I got 10. So, yes, a lot of family, friends, very nice really love the old truck you guys know that i love that especially like this dog very cute that come from cousin and this dog reminds me of my old westies i had so yes a lot of very pretty christmas cards okay you're gonna hear the rumble of my dryer but here is my cabbage this has cabbage, red potatoes, and Italian green beans. I just add a little bit more salt and pepper, a little more butter, and I drained some of the drippings off on this one. This one here, I have to get a pot holder to hold it open because it's so hot. Did the same thing here, except for this one has the hot sausage in it. So it's cabbage, potatoes, hot sausage, and I just added a little bit of butter and some more seasonings. I'm gonna let that butter melt. I'm gonna stir and we are going to eat. And it is going to be delicious because it smells so good. And I know some of you guys might not think that cabbage is a very festive thing, but we're getting New Year's here and West Virginia started off early. We've been eating a ton of cabbage. So if you're not familiar, you eat cabbage and pork for New Year's so that you have good luck all year. Not that I really believe in it, but this year we have eaten it so much before the new year that um, we should have an excellent 2023. Wrapped up the remainder of the cabbage and sausage. That's all that's left out of those two great big pots. Obviously took my father-in-law a big thing of it, so he has some. And then we are having some hot tea right now i got it going um this is the tea that we've been drinking let me get the box here we are it's the red rose which is funny because <laughs> that's the name of a chinese place i used to eat at where 
we used to get black tea at all the time and that's what started all this black tea love was the red rose so um i am washing dishes this pot has some stuff stuck on i know i think i shared this um i don't know tip if you have a pot or a skillet and your stuff is stuck stuck to it my really good friend who's been watching me who is a lovely friend her name is kelly she told me she said run hot water and put a um dryer sheet in there and let it set for a few minutes it works every time it comes spotless every single time it's amazing um so everything else is all washed i'm gonna have my tea and i'm gonna come in here and dry all this and put it away and then we'll see what kind of trouble i can get into but right now my water's boiling So we are watching, still watching movie, but I wanted to show you that I put this together for our postman. I'm going to put it in the mailbox in the morning. It's just a ornament, a box of caramels, and a Christmas card from us. And I also wrapped all of my father-in-law's gifts right there. And now I'm going to get, um, let's see, what did I do with it? It's right here. I'm gonna, my mom left this, and I'm going to put this together. So, we'll see how I do. I'm not very good at these things, but I'm gonna give it okay. a while. Okay, while watching the movie here. I'm putting together this. I thought, in case you are wondering what it looks like, it comes with all these little candies. It comes with this frosting that's already squishy and mixed. You don't have to do nothing with it. And then your ginger little houses. By the way, this stuff smells like gingerbread. It has like these seams and you break it on the seams and then your gingerbread house comes apart like this. And then I think you glue it together. However, oh wait, no, 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 okay. These are the, this is the front and then that's the back and these are the sides and then this is the roof. This is the roof, there we go. I get it now. I'm gonna try to put this together. I'm not very good at this stuff, but we're gonna give it a whirl. This was not successful. I had a house collapse and that's the only one standing. Not sure really what to do at this point. <laughs> But I don't think this is going to work. Well, I'm going to close out this video, this Vlogmas. Had a very full day. Freezing ice cold day. I'm still wearing the toboggan. I've wore this all day long. <laughs> She'll probably be wearing it for a couple days. <laughs> I have been frozen, y'all. I had to take the trash out. My can was was um iced over so i had to get it undone and we just had company and they brought us a giant can of goodies and i'm eating sugar cookies by the way danny kraus if you are watching this the sugar cookies are delicious and the oreo balls are good and the buckeyes you made was good and the chocolate chip cookies smell delicious although i have not had one of those yet but i am going to close this video out we are just watching some TV. I figure we'll turn in early tonight because it's a lot warmer outside. I'm sorry about the shadow, but it is a lot warmer upstairs than outside. <laughs> I just realized I said it's a lot warmer outside. Where is it? We're going to go outside and warm up. I just stuck my face out there and it's dark. Well, apparently my brain is um, frozen. Anyhow, just got everything cleaned up around here and company just left. Gonna enjoy my sugar cookie and I'm just gonna have a relaxed evening with my sweetheart over here. All we're doing is trying to keep warm and that is it. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve and uh, we're gonna, we got some things we're gonna do tomorrow. 
We're going to be videoing it. You all will see our Christmas Eve on Christmas Day and our Christmas Day the day after Christmas Day. So that'll be awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Vlogmas. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you a part of Heidi's home. And we hope that you have a wonderful, blessed weekend. Stay safe, stay warm, and Merry Christmas to you all because you guys will not see me until after Christmas Eve again. So, um, Merry Christmas, guys. Mm -hmm.